morning everyone. This morning we're going to talk about air filtration systems or air filters primarily with our track stump machine and the BC1000 chipper which is probably the most widely used chippers we have chipper we have in the company. Uh, each office has one of these stumpers so good stuff to go on. Uh, this was brought to me from Alan who was giving this thing uh, he's checking it out he was told it was smoking, wasn't running right, didn't sound right, so he did some investigating and we'll see what he saw. First, let's get to the air filter. To do that on our stump machines, all we got to do is lift the hood. Right here is the air canister. Intake's right here. Okay, so very easy for dust, dirt, everything else to come up and if it doesn't get caught in the uh, radiator there, it's gonna get sucked in the air filter. Very common uh, filter here. It's got a dust pan on the bottom, two clips unhook, falls right off. Okay, that's what Alan found. All right, that is a lot of dirt. And as you can see, the filter that was in that is gonna be nasty as well. Most of these air filters look something like this. There's the outer filter. And then this is typically still left inside. It's sticking on the inside. So for you guys in the field, you're running this thing day to day. This should be something that, I mean, if you're the sole stump grinder, this should be a daily thing. Maybe every two days, no more than three or four with constant use. Uh, if, you, if it's a communal machine, like the landscapers have one for the landscape division, multiple people take out, depending on the day. Check it every day, I'd say check it every time. Okay, dump the dust pan out and take your, uh, take your filter, tap it off on something, knock the loose dirt off of it. This is extremely dirty. I don't know anybody that likes to get covered in dust. And don't worry, I remember all too much what it's like. Because when you sweat, dust turns to mud, gets in your eyes, your ears, and then you go home, you blow snot. Yeah, mud boogers out in the shower and all that fun stuff. But just with Simple knocking this thing out day to day can save a lot of uh, future maintenance. Now if I would find something this dirty like Alan did, he's going to probably replace the filter because it was packed with dirt for so long. But if you're just keeping up with your daily maintenance, that's all you got to do. And then you would put that back in there. I'm going to seat this first and put the cover back on. And you do want to make sure when you attach this dust pan, catch cup, or whatever the heck it's called, make these clips accessible so they're not going to get broken. And with the stump machine, I know this could be uh, caught in the hood, so I'm actually going to spin that a little bit. Just 
like it's tough for us to breathe with uh and don't open a hood when your phone's laying on top of it just like it's tough for us to breathe with a bunch of dusting crap in our nose and mouth and throat it's tough for a motor to breathe too when it can't breathe so the chippers on, again, open the hood, it's a little bit bigger. But should still be able to get to it, drop this pan off. I'd actually just dump this out before the video so there's nothing in there. Same thing, I'm gonna pull that off, pull the filter off, pull the insert out. The insert really should be clean. This is what you're gonna uh, be tapping out. This is a fairly brand new one, you can see how nice and white it is. Still gonna be a little bit of dust in there though. If you're thinking right now, Aaron, when the heck am I gonna do this? I have enough to remember. This is one of those things where you, you see your ground guy staying around, not doing anything. Or you're doing, or you're talking to the client. So there's a little bit of downtime throughout the day, you can tell them to do this anytime. Doesn't matter whether the motor's hot or what. But you can see how long it took me. Not long. There we go. And that's it. And that can be the difference between uh, yeah, having a machine that's a dirty air filter and possibly have some serious engine damage uh, or keeping it running good. So again with the uh, with the ch chippers, the stump machines, take time clean the air filters out. Uh, that's pretty much it shouldn't come down to the uh this is something my my dad used to say you never take a machine or your truck or car to a mechanic when it's dirty because then they're going to know how you treat it and then they're not going to treat it as well if the mechanics here see that nobody's looking after equipment it doesn't put them in a very good mood and then it probably trickles down to George, trickles down to me, and then there's certain people that we don't want to give nice equipment to, and there's certain crews that we don't want to give nice equipment to because we know we don't, they don't take care of it. Now coming from me, I know exactly what you guys uh, do day to day. I know your day is very hectic. I know finding time to do maintenance is sometimes tough. Uh, the truth of the matter is you just have to make time to do it. Whether you tell yourself you're gonna do it in the morning, or uh, afternoon. It can't be when it's raining because we just had two months of drought. So, okay, that's all I got. See you later.